Welcome to the e m p e r o r Podcast, where we dive into real stories, real experiences, and real creativity in everyone, including me and you. So, for this episode, I am going to talk about one of the series that I've done on d u s h e r p o l the Outer Channel, for the last couple of years, which is d u s h e r p o l s Dairy. Now, for the past couple of years, I've done d u s h e r p o l s Dairy in the past, and this is a vlog series, vlog series, dairy series, whatever you want to call it. And I'm gonna go through the stories, the timeline, the history, as well as like everything that is been in between, other than me covering it on the first episode of the show s t e r y the final series, the first episode. I covered like the brief timeline, but I'm gonna just talk about like the exact details about it on today. Um, for those who don't know, yeah, the show s t e r y on the show poll. I've done it for. Four years, five years, and it's a prominent series of flagship series on Dusha Po. And the reason I'm starting Pericle is that it is a more focused on myself and more than Dusha Po's theory, where it's focused on like you know, friends and anything, and it's predominantly covered by like freaking random sports day video. <laughs> okay, first of all, um. d u s h e p o l Starry started not on d u s h e p o l It started on a old channel called d u s h e p o l IRL. Self-explanatory in the love content, which is the channel, by the way, has been renamed like numerous times. So it's d u s h e p o l IRL, d u s h e p o l Archive, then d u s h e p o l Plus, d u s h e p o l Bonus. Also, I think. And then now it's n p e r i c a l Extra because of the branding, branding changes. Yeah. And it started off like I got like a camera, like a not not a DSLR, it's like a little camera. Just filmed, like videos and do, and it's very shaky, like very very shaky. Like doing when when I re-edit like one the first episode, the s o k r a n one. I want to warm it a bit. It's so shaky. It's very amateur, but I include it anyway, in a f- full form, and hopefully nobody watches it. <laughs> it it it's so like it f- it is so bad, yeah. But then I then it started to be a little more, a little bit much better. So yeah, it's it's the progress, yeah. And after a while, like. After a while, I started doing more Dishable s e r i e s during Grade Nine. Now, here's a background of Grade Nine. Um, I started before a little bit in Term One for the field trips and other things, <coughs> but then I like one day I was thinking like, not I was thinking like, I brought a camera. I brought like a freaking, it's still a, it's still a normal camera, right? I brought them, and during that time when the school allowed phones, I just have my phone camera and capture everything. It was a memory thing. Like during that time, we were working on the doc. We was going to make on working on documentary as well. And I got this thinking like, why don't we just have like a vlog series every single week? To capture memories and such, so I did it every week. <laughs> and the first responses from people that I heard, like, I don't know if it's earlier, but it's definitely like after the show was there is done. People were annoyed. People don't like being filmed on camera. The privacy issues. Don't want to be on camera. Don't want to be famous and things and such. And it's just. On one way, I understand them, but on the other way, I was during that time like not okay. Like people being mad at me <laughs> for doing such a thing like this, like for their bo- for their own benefit in a way. It will be understandable. Like right now, I am of, like I'm seriously afraid of like filming any other person, <laughs> and it could any other person in the vid on the video because I felt like it's. It's not. It's not ideal, 
at all in a way. Yeah, that's why only that's why you see on this this iron life there's little to no people there apart from me. But as soon as a series progresses, maybe there could be my friends in college or whatever. But during that time around, digital theory, there's none, none of those. There's none of those thoughts of like not of like caring about privacy and things. It's like I put a camera and film. That's all. So that's how that's how people got annoyed, and then also like. It was like a hit for me. Like I'm, I'm looking forward to do it every single week. Yeah, got events like um, there's no sports day, but there's children's day, there's Christmas, there's um, the code. There's the dance thing. It's just like I, I did, did. It is very exciting in a way, but then it got stale. Like I think. January and February, February before the dance or after the dance, I don't know. It feels a little bit stale, cause during that time we were playing werewolves like almost every single week as well, and it got stale. It just like repetition, apart and apart. And you know, <laughs> it's it's an experience. Everything will get stale as the world. It's like everything will they will have like dry content day and whatever. But hey, that's what you can do. After that, I have a big send off, grade nine, big send off ultimate dairy. I got like an, an after dairy as well, which is a poker thing, because you know we hang out and got some content about a bit. And then I did this letter reading. I think I think I did this letter reading reading like freaking after like three years or so. So yeah. And then during those times. After that, I was doing Do Travels, not that popular series, and I'm might not even gonna do it anymore. Do Travels and Science Vlog Show. Science Vlog Show is a show that is in between the transition of Do Travels Diary and Do Travels Diary New Start, and that and that is just it. It is something like. What I do in Dushable Monthly, but it's not that Dushable Monthly. It's just me freaking speaking to the camera. In general, yeah, with like added graphics and whatever. Not like this. This is a long form. That was a short form CBS. Then I have also another side series for Dushable Diary Grade Nine called Back to STFX. This is basically me revisiting STFX after like after the after I left for Grade Nine. And I'm not planning to do it anymore. I'm sorry. I'm not releasing people T-shirts. I'm not. So, I'm sorry. I I I have no plans. People will forget me. <laughs> and that my friends are already graduated. So why why the heck would I return to STFX? <laughs> yeah. So no plans at the moment. And also like due to the current situation, I'm in Ireland now. Also so, yeah. But maybe if I arrange it with like some, some people in SCFX, then I might do it. But on the other hand, not now. Then we move on to the SBS years. SBS years are when digital stories at this peak a bit, especially during little old of it. But we're gonna cover the new start first. New start is a series during Grade Nine Term One. Not great, not term one. M four term one, and it was meant to be a secret for a while. Now, because like, because the thing is that I don't want my my reputation, reputation or my like thing to be like to be revealed. But then in episode three, it's all done. Speculations. There's there could be a person. Say gossip about my YouTube thing, or maybe just me bringing camera every single time. That could be either way. And during that time, episode three, like I saw, I saw people like Far, Ice T, 
looking at like my videos on their phones and this is like it's cringeworthy in a way <laughs> hey and, and hey don't get me wrong it's it's good but then it's just it's just like oh my god like you can you can dare can so you will see you saw my reactions like doing the old edit it just feels like <sighs> but that's what you can do like that's what you can do that's all that you could do and don't lie don't lie to me that you didn't see it i saw it in my eyes people watching my videos and this feels like oh my god so episode 3 is already revealed yeah and like i'm gonna say it i don't care i don't care people watching my videos <laughs> yeah it's just a little bit a little bit cringy but on the other hand you know yeah and by the way if you compare new start to grade 9 it is a completely different feel as well because during grade during new start i focus on myself like my personal vlogs my personal thoughts my personal things including raw door recap like i did that everything i i just break apart from the traditional ritual story but as soon as as soon afterwards, I started to mix in those two things, because not that not that you focus on your on them, but yourself as well, because your name is on, because my name is on there. It's still supposedly do do shape myself, yeah. It's not like SBS dairy, no SBS eleven dairy, no. It's not like that. Myself is the key here. <laughs> What's that? That was new start. Ten episodes, and got overwhelming, overwhelming a lot of dislikes. Cause I think you know, during the f during the first couple of days and things, people were not happy. It's it's just the same feeling as like grade nine, but even harsh a bit. So I don't care. I don't care about the dislikes, but like thing is, come on, watch the video. Then move on to. The second term, which is Dusha Posterity Loaded. Now, Dusha Posterity Loaded is meant to be a six part or two part episode with like parts sparring, scattering over the over a week. So like for example, like episode one, I had like six parts. So there will be one day, one day is going to be a video, a video, a video, a video. I spent to watch in parts so that I can separate like segments. So, and then and then I decrease it to two parts because of the constant drought, and then I just have only one part. It's a lot of work to do multiple parts <laughs> in a way. So, so that's why. And the most popular video is Green Team Sports Day Round One cheerleading. That's the most popular video on Dushapo and the series itself, unfortunately. <laughs> now, the last couple of episodes for Dushapo was reloaded. This was the reloaded. It's essentially a mixture of filming events and other people a bit. And it's quite a journey, actually. Because <laughs> I did videos like freaking M2 Scouts Camp that I that I didn't even be in. So I just re-edited everything and just like put it in as like free content. I'm not gonna do it for this time around. Yeah, if, if you if you know Do Shop and Perico 2021. I'm not gonna include that episode. That's so garbage. And uh, there's STFX one and there's yeah Protected idea by the way from this. I was also gonna do an episode recording the musical SBS musicals because SBS also has like music various musicals, Mulan, Sounds of Music, whatever. The Lion King. I was gonna do that but then on the other hand no. I don't I I didn't do it at the end of the day. And also a lot of work as well, like what the heck? What like what I'm gonna do? Then there are two side series that happen around and after the loaded. 
one is the diary of Do Du Chapel. It's just Du Chapel's diary, the diary of Du Chapel. You know, the variations. Diary of Du Chapel is behind the scenes and extra content. And one is just the first episode is me talking about the behind the scenes of the sports day, and the other is the highlights before the showcase. That's all. And I didn't plan to do another one. Because again, a lot of content. I don't have too much content to do. Yeah. And there's another one with his Road to IGCSE, which covers the highlight string summary at GCSE. And that there's only three episodes because I was highly focused on it at GCSE that time. Oh, one unique thing, by the way, doing the reloaded is that I have like voting screens and everything, and it's cringy. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do it anymore. The voting screens, voting things, it may come back during Iron Life, if. People want it. People want it if like there's interest on Ireland life. Right now, no. Yeah. Then we move on to the change. Do you suppose there is a change? Um, the word the change is only there for two episodes. Then I change it to do you theory After I have numerous meltdowns, breakdowns, and I was. Pretty much bossy, too much bossy in a way. And yeah, it re I renamed it back recently for to the change, like the the past episode, like the first four episodes in term M five term one, like ten sub episodes on M five term two, and one episode in M six term one. I included all to the change. Yeah. Just for consistency and for the future as well. There are three gaps during this series. Always due to my meltdown. Numerous meltdowns. First one is between episode 4 and 5 of the change, which is M5 turn 1 and M5 turn 2. <clears throat> it's because of the Siam, Siam as incident. I will cover this during the Beyond the Show Story. I might or might not, by the way. I might not cover this or might cover. It depends on circumstances. Another again, between the showcase and the M6 state thing, there's one unreleased episode, which I already released, yeah. It's already released, but one unreleased during that time. And. Yeah. Now, that gap was because of three things. I was involved in another controversy, which I will cover it. Might cover it? I don't know. I think I might not cover it, but it, yeah. <laughs> breakdowns, there is breakdowns again. I was like, I was in that harsh mental state during that time, and I was involved in the toxic project, which is time consuming in a way. And then I have another long gap during M six term one. Like, there's only one episode during M6 turn 1 because of mental breakdowns. Yeah. But then, <coughs> I was committed to do more Douchable Stary during the final series. Now, it is much more planned for the final series. I was like, it was planned to have it 13 episodes. Like exactly 13 episodes to cover everything else in M6 term 2 and it's highly successful in terms of like my expectations of like how it how the edits go how like I view the series as is but it, it's not that successful for views like I don't care about the views I just do it for a fun but yeah it's in my eyes is highly successful in terms of edits. Now this is a mixture of my own content, my essay style video, speaking video, highlights from school events, and so on and so forth. Especially the latter part of the series where I talk about like most read English, um, my own con like the future, myself, the long hiatus, everything. I talk about all those things. Especially the latter part of the series, because it's it's just simply boring. 
general. The episode 13, episode 13 is intended, by the way, is intended to be one hour special. I planned it like right there. One hour special for a big send off of the school life. And I did it as like replicating the aspects from Big Brother in my because I, you know, <laughs> I like Big Brother. Especially the intro. Intro, like, intro to everything and the introduction to, like, series and such as, and the outro, like, near the end. The show will get back to you. That's the words. And that's the show was the final series. In a way, you can feel free to check out every other series, uh, any other series on Dusha Po, by the way. The episodes are up. Yeah. However, there's one more thing, one more series I want to go through, which is called Beyond Dusha Story. There's no season. Beyond Dusha Story, there's no season. And. It's not a season. It's a spin-off, by the way. <laughs> it's a spin-off. Don't confuse with like season seven. Nah, it's a spin-off, and it's mainly talk. It's just mainly me and camera. That's what I'm doing, and as well as like, literally, events that happen after my school life, involving friends from SBS and SBX. If it's daily life, that's iron life. <laughs> so. And yeah, expect some good news during summer for the series. As you saw in the showcase, there could be new episodes, there could be anything else. Yeah. And I plan it to make it like as soon as Beyond the Show's Dairy Run is done this summer, it's done. I'm not gonna do it anymore. However, there is. I want to teach you this. There's one more se- spin off after Beyond the Show's Dairy. That I might do after it graduated. So it, it is gonna be a long time, but it will be it will worth the wait wait it a bit. And it involves memories. Yeah. That is all for the podcast. Um bi weekly Friday switching around with Twitch highlights on Dishable Gaming. So check back in the next two weeks for more and parable podcasts where i'm going to talk about my life my stories and whatever until then see you guys <laughs>